Welcome back to Farm Ham, everyone. We are getting an early start this morning. My three Dairy Cross beef cows that did not get bred back. I'm gonna take them to the sale barn this morning. The sale starts in about two hours. I'm gonna get them some grain so I can get them sorted from the other calves we have to sell. Then after I get them separated and in the corral, I'm gonna try to get them loaded up as quick as I can um, because I need to get them there probably an hour before the sale, which gives me about 30 minutes to an hour. Don't have a whole lot of time, but I think we can get it done. First thing is getting some grain. supposed to be warmer today it's supposed to be in the 50s I thought but right now it's probably about 25 and the wind is blowing so I'm definitely not wearing enough clothes to stay warm but I'll be getting in the truck here in a couple minutes so it won't be too bad okay so what I need here is the cows I need to leave the calves and I also need to leave this white faced cow here her jaw is getting better so she is not being sold Just about got majorly injured. I don't know if you can see that mud on my vest here. The one that used to be a pet, still thinks she's a pet. She got happy she was getting grain. Walked right in front of me, jumped up and kicked. And I swear at full extension, it just grazed my vest without actually hitting my chest. That would have hit me right in the ribs, and that probably would have broke something. So, hmm. That'll wake you up in the morning. I gave them a bucket. She's the one that almost killed me. Um, gave them a bucket of grain. The other bucket I'm going to give to the calves that are left over. You'll be selling them here in a couple days. So, I'm going to let them eat, and then when they're done, I'm going to get them loaded. Um, while they're eating, I'm going to go dump this half a bale to our group of heifers. The half bale is already on the truck and I need the truck to haul the trailer. So I need to get the bale off there and then I'm going to hook the trailer up and get these things loaded and gone. This is the heifer, it only has one eye. She did not get bred, so she is going to town. Um, she shouldn't get docked 
too hard for a cull cow. That's my hopes. that one behind. That worked out nicely. They didn't go for a drink, so I guess they won't get one till they get to the sale barn. And small trailer, I just want two, preferably the two biggest in the front. And I gotta watch out for this one with one eye. She kicks frequently. Okay, those are not the two I want. I want the two on the left. Hey, hey. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, hey. It's not that scary, come on. guys just saw him sell um, I thought they'd run through in an hour or two because there are quite a few head here already um, but I don't know if my field rep did a good job or what but they got in and out within the first 30 minutes of the sale so I was pretty impressed I got here almost right when the sale started and they already got mine in so pretty happy with that um, price wise uh, let me think here the first three I think they averaged 900 some pounds and they brought 65 cents, I believe. So not anything crazy, but um, better than 40 or 50 cents. Even the one with the bad hip, she did pretty pretty well. Um, and then the last one, they singled her out. She was the heifer. They said she was a year and a half old, which is actually pretty accurate. 
Um, so they did a good job aging her. Um, and she brought a dollar two. She weighed 800 some pounds. And so she actually did the best. I was kind of surprised. I thought they'd dock her pretty bad for missing an eye, but they didn't. So that was all good. They were all considered open. I didn't have them preg check because the vet already preg checked them in my house. So I told them they're all open. And uh, anyway, overall the cell went pretty well. I can't really complain that much for a group of call open call cows. Um, but anyway, we'll take the calves in here in a couple days and see how they do. All right, guys, I got some pig food. This is some expired Chex Mix from the grocery store. Got some marshmallows and other kind of cereal in there. I'm not really sure. There's some kind of snack mix. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to feed that to the pigs. And then we're going to talk some... We're gonna talk some numbers on call cows. Call cows can be extremely profitable if you time it right. Um, so we're gonna get into all that. But before we do, we'll feed these pigs. Um, you can see they're pen here. I let them out this morning into this pen. They've already pretty well destroyed it. pounds of feed morning and night um, and of course a nice day like today when it's 63 degrees they can spend all day rooting around outside so those cows you can sell them like I did I just didn't want to feed them the rest of winter or if I wanted to make some better money on them I could have held on to them until June so June and July, it's a big market for um, your old fat cows. And if you would have been to the sale I just took mine to, there were some really fat cows that got fattened out on grass. These cows just didn't get bred for a season. They ate grass for almost a year and they get super fat just on grass. So they're ready to butcher when they walk through the ring. There's a lot of buyers that are willing to pay 65 cents. Um, and a lot of these cows, when they're that fat, they're gonna weigh 1600 pounds. So, you can get a pretty nice check out of a cow that didn't rebreed if you have the grass to hold on to them for another four to six months and sell them in June or July for the hamburger market um, as July 4th. So I said July 4th, but really a lot of the summer people are grilling burgers. So the hamburger market goes up. That's when your fat cows will sell the best. Like I said, they will fatten out on grass if you've got it. I could have held on to those three cows uh, for another six months. Um, but the problem is three of those six months would have been feeding them hay. And that really cuts into your profit if you're selling one of those cows. So um, sure I could have held on to them, but in the end, after I fed them hay for three months, I don't know that I would have come out any better. Um, probably would have profited the same amount. Even if you're on some smaller framed cattle, a really fat cow could weigh 13, 1400 pounds. So um, your bigger frame scores, you might get a 16, 17, 1800 pound cow, which once again, will still probably bring 65 cents a pound. So. Um, it all depends on the market in your area. My area, I've got multiple sale barns and one of the biggest ones in the nation close by. So fat cows really sell well. In the actual beef herd, we have three older cows and we are actually gonna hold on to them till June. They didn't calve this fall like they were supposed to. They either aborted early or something happened. They didn't have a calf. So they're old, they're not crippled, they're in good shape. They're 13, 14, 15 year old cows. We are gonna feed them through the winter just because we haven't had time to get the whole group of cows back home and sorted and separate them out. So at this point for us, for beef cows, it's gonna be worth holding on to them until June. Um, that'll give them all spring to fatten up, really get big. Um, these old cows, like I said, on grass, as long as they aren't crippled, they're gonna put on weight fast if they're not trying to grow or feed a calf. So um, we're gonna hold on to them for the June market. I will keep you guys updated whenever we sell them and I'll try to show you guys the difference in price. Anyway, that's where that's where a lot of people miss out on quite a bit of money um, selling call cows. They just sell them right when they find out they're open. But if you're finding out they're open in the spring, it might be wise to hold on to them for a couple months. So guys, with that being said, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. And with that being said, I will see you all next time.